Good morning everyone and welcome back to Craft Eccentricity and happy Friday. Yes indeed. Right, yesterday, if you saw my haul, you will have seen the uh, aluminum roll that I ordered and the glue and whatever else it was. My aluminum rods, yeah. I've got them on my desk, these things. Right, what I did was I started hacking away at that aluminum roll and I did die cut and personally for what I wanted to do it was too soft it really was I mean it goes through an embossing folder absolutely brilliantly and then you can cut out your bits of embossing and uh, pop a little bit of paint or whatever onto them I don't know how close we can get in there there you go and then you can scruff it up with a nail file and all sorts of stuff but the Christmas tree is supposed to be rigid. Now, here's where I came across another problem because I switched from my aluminum foil and went back to my roof flashing. Now, I ran this through twice, hoping that it would pop those little holes out. This is the heavy duty stuff and it didn't. It left them there. And even though that's not a problem, um, you know, I just thought cutting the other bits out, it kind of lended itself to something else. So then, as I was thinking about doing the tree, I used my crocodile to punch a hole into one of the layers. And it was really easy to do, except that hole is too big for my aluminum rod. So I thought, right, how am I going to switch this up so that I can still make something? So I went ahead and I used the other dies that come in this set. And I thought, sunflower, that's what I'm going to do. So I went ahead and I cut all of the other pieces. So this is the the heavy stuff. Now I have got my nail file here because if you see any bits that offend your eye, um, you can just get rid of them. And pretty much you're not going to cut yourself on this once you've die cut it. But if you get any little stray pieces, then you must use your nail file because you absolutely would cut yourself. But this is like a little bit thicker than soda can. And put through a steel rule die, um, these would cut and emboss the edges absolutely brilliantly. And that's something that I'm going to do in the future because, of course, I've got a very large roll to use up. So just going to do that now as it's going to be a sunflower I want to still see the aluminum but I want to be able to put some paint on there so first of all what I'm going to do because you cut out eight of these is put my scruffy mat down and I want to kind of like divide them up so that they're opposite layers so that I'm getting two flowers instead of one now I've got this one of course that's got a hole in it and it's going to need to be uh, buried, <laughs> hidden, yeah. So I can kind of have a flower like that and I can have a flower like that. And of course these are going to be weatherproof because we're going to try this stuff today. I am going to put my fan on before I use that because I'm pretty sure it doesn't smell very good. So you should use ventilation. So I want to separate those off for a minute. And I'm just going to use my nail file, which I don't use on my nails. I do use on stuff like this. And I just want to scruff it up. And I want to do this for all of them because I just want to get a key down. That's what it's called. It's called give, giving your project a key uh, surface so that you can put other stuff on top of it. So I'm doing one here just to show you and we've scruffed that up a little bit and it's it's a little bit rough and you can see it's a little bit scratchy i actually like that surface so i'm going to finish off the rest of them and show the other stuff that i've got that i'm using today i've got distress paint in walnut stain and in wild honey now i think i've got another one that might be in china 
broken china so it might be nice to do one that's not necessarily a sunflower and then at the end of it we're going to put the sticks on because they're going to need to go into plant pots so we're going to test that glue it says 30 to 45 seconds but obviously leaving overnight for a full cure but we're going to find that out so i'm just going to pop those there i'm going to get my nail file back on all the other pieces and then we'll come back and start working on it right so i've done all that and i've also found my broken china which is lovely so now we've got walnut stain wild honey and broken china sitting on the desk and these i'm just going to give them a quick wipe just to make sure there's no dust left from filing them down and you can see how they look now they're just a little bit scratched up just taking some of the shine off so hopefully the paint will adhere a lot better so i've got four there and i've got four here and we're going to do those in blue so the first thing i want to do is that one's going to be done in brown so i'll pop that one there because that's the center of my sunflower now it's been years since i used these so i'm giving it a good old shake and let's have a look because they've got those foamy top tops so let's find out what kind of adhesion we get now i don't mind it being stippled which is why i'm pouncing it because we're being rustic yes we are but i still want some of that metal to show through because i really like it and i can also if i want to go in with a little bit of the brown and stain it just to make it look a bit more worn so cutting these is exactly the same as running them through uh, with cardstock and then you have to just pop them out of the uh, the surround just like you would your cardstock but as i was saying do not run through twice because if you do you could get a jump you know like sometimes you'll get a, a really fine lacy die and you'll run it through once and twice and sometimes if you haven't fastened your die down it will skip well you'll get the same thing happen here and if that happens it will produce burrs which is what you don't want because then you could cut yourself so stay away from that but using your steel rule dies on uh, aluminum is absolutely fantastic so if you've still got oodles of steel rule dies that you haven't used for ages you know think about making something that's going to last a while either in the house or in the garden because even 3d stuff like envelopes and boxes um, all you need to do is cut a strip or use one of KS Crafts um, box maker strips and you can create a three-dimensional aluminum envelope pocket for your wall, you know. Just put a few um, flowers. What are flowers? <laughs> put a few flowers in. <laughs> or, you know, any, any mail that you get that you want to store. And you could paint that up exactly the same way. You know, you could do it all black and put a nice barn red colour on top and then scratch it back a bit and you could have it as your Christmas mailbox and splash it with a bit of white or whatever but anyway I need to let that dry for a second and I'll be right back okay so what I actually did was while those are sort of almost dry I've used some of the uh, walnut stain is what it is I thought it was vintage photo the vintage photo is lighter than this one so while that's going on and while i've done the yellow i did the yellow center for the blue flower so now i'm going to see if this works because it's been a long long time so i'm going to give this a good old shake and i'm going to have to squeeze it out on my mat because sometimes these daubers cease to work after a while but i think i've got some coming out here so let's have a go oh yes it's a nice pale looking blue broken china so that's a nice summery color and the um the silver still shows through of the aluminum which is nice 
and it's great these daubers because you don't have to get your hands completely filthy mind you not that it's a problem because this paint does wash off quite easily while it's still damp <laughs> You could use car spray paints or you know other craft spray paints you'd have to do that out in the garden of course because they smell horrible too but i just want to get this down and i will actually put a second coat on that in a minute so i'm letting those dry and i'll come straight back right so these have been drying for a little bit and i'm just moving some stuff out of the way they still need to dry a little bit more i've got a lot of humidity here and i've got that uh what is it walnut stain again and i just want to dot the edges of my petals so it's quite literally you know do it like you're using your ink pad nothing major involved just go around the edges of each of your pieces and i think i might do this on the blue as well but my paint is still quite tacky so i'm going to carry on doing that with this and i'll be right back okay so these are pretty much dry now which means of course we're going to try using our glue and it's still aluminum on the back if we can get a close-up you can see it's just really kind of like vintagey stippled so we've got our various layers and we're going to pop them all together now this glue says that it's metal to metal so what i'm looking at is that i've still got some metal on show there and i've got my my poke tool so i'm just going to go in and just make sure that the little bits in the middle are scratched back just a little bit so that i've got some adhesion because pretty much once this paint is uh is dry it's there right and i need to do this one just give yourself a little rough piece and then of course i went and punched a hole in that one which was a mistake but if you were to do these say you did two of that you could put them back to back and you could pop a chain in the center and you've got something you can swing from a tree branch or anything like that so i think it's just great to be able to use dyes to get something that we can use for a longer time now then before we put those aluminum rods on that will turn them into picks let's find out if this glue works so it has got a pore spout and it has got finer tips that you can just trim and use i'm just going to go from the pore spout and i'm going to pick the piece up so i've got my little dot there and it is saying that it's 30 to 40 seconds so i haven't got that much time <laughs> so i know that i want them straight so i'm going there right i'm going to hold my finger on there actually longer than 30 or 40 and then i'm going to come back and we'll see if that glue works all oh, right well it does <laughs> i'm back rather quickly right so i'm gonna do it again and i just want to put a little blob there and then i want this in the center but offset so i'm just going to pick it up towards myself and move it while i still can remember you never want to get super glue onto your fingers and looking at this if you did it in different shades of green you could make yourself some little metal hens and chickens couldn't you right what i want to do is the dye does actually cut between these so you know using your fingernail or using another tool do it gently you don't want to uh, catch your finger on anything metal so i'm just lifting that piece up as i go and then i will lift up the other layers and come back well as you can see those two didn't cut apart there you go they did cut apart <laughs> 
So I'm just going to try and separate those. Oh, I'm really pleased with this glue. I've got some great birdhouse dies and uh, I would love to be able to do those and paint them up in chalk paint and stuff because garden decorations now, can you see that? They can just be so expensive. So I'm now going to lift up this one and then I'm going to leave my back one flat because I've got to be able to stick my... Um, my pick stick I'm going to call them there we go you find some of them stick together oh this is great I mean you could do water lilies and everything you know you could just let your imagination run riot with this dye I want to get a good close there we go look how tarnished and old that looks I do apologise for my lighting today. I'm pretty sure it's going to absolutely chuck it down with rain. And then the finale for this one is its centre. So let's go ahead. I'm going to pick that bit up there as well. There we go. Wow, the glue works. So I absolutely uh, guarantee the glue. Tiny little drop there again. And then I want to make sure this is in the centre. And then I can pick up any bits afterwards once it's dry. So I might have to hold that actually because there's a little bit of resistance from the cold up petals. So I'll be back in a second. Ooh, look at that. It's looking all tarnished and great. Right, so the centre is in there. That's obviously going to cure for 24 hours, but it is dry right now. And what you just saw me do with that, I'm going to do with this one. I'll come right back and then we're going to pop on these things, these little aluminum rods, and we're going to turn them into plant pot picks. That's what I'm going to do. Yeah, I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so that's all done. And let's see if we can get a close up before we put the sticks in. So there's our, our lovely metal flowers, aren't they great? And they're, you know, they're solid. <laughs> I mean, if you're going to gift give, you know, you could always paint the back and whatnot. But I quite like tarnished metal, so I'm hoping that will tarnish. So I've got my two rods here, and what I'll do is I'll stick the sunflower one and then run away and do the uh, blue one. Now, check your flower, see if there's a particular way that you like it and I think I'm going to go on this downward petal here. So I'm going to get my glue again and I'm going to drop a blob there. Now you could of course use, just popping the lid on, um, some tape to hold it in position. Right, they're saying 45 seconds. I'll be back in a minute. Right, so I've moved that mat out of the way and that is what we've got. And that's what it looks like on that side. Now, obviously, as I said before, you could finish them a lot better if you're gift giving or something like that. But I just wish my camera would show it because you're probably going to pay six or seven dollars for something like that in a store and i highly highly recommend this it really did work so that was nice because a lot of glues you know what they're like people say oh and and they just don't do anything but i really love those i think they're great and another alternative use for your ks craft die Thank you so much for joining me today. I think I'm going to have more aluminum fun over the weekend and I might share it on Monday because we got lots of rain. Yeah. So you have an absolutely awesome weekend. Thanks so much for joining me today. And as usual, all links below. Bye.